Hello, welcome back. Glad to assume you're there. <laughs> I'd like to say glad to see you there, but obviously I can't see y'all. So this is the start of the Tour de France film. I think as I paint this, the men have just started their final stage. I'll be painting that next. So trying to stay on double race schedule today. And a uh, little bit of a struggle. Now, shockingly, the group has let one rider get off the front. And with the um, first yellow jersey on offer, but it was uh, someone launched their attack right at the top of the climb. And I think perhaps everyone thought, well, she's just going for the queen of the mountain stages. That polka dot jersey that was so hard fought in the men's race. And that may have been um, Quebec's goal, but she's got a lot of strength and power. Not only she's a Belgian road champion, she's also the Belgian time trial champion. So once she got away, she wasn't going to sit up. And so now this group is chasing, but they're already... 45 seconds. No, I think they've pulled it back to win 30 seconds, but still, I don't know the exact time gap. But with Kopecky inside of a kilometer, actually three quarters of a kilometer to race, it's highly, highly, highly unlikely that this group is going to catch her. So they are quite definitely racing for second place. But at this point, Kopecky is going to be the outright owner of three jerseys because she, there was only one climb, one set of points awarded. And since she was first over the climb, she'll get those. So that gives her the polka dot jersey. And if she wins the stage, she'll have the lead in the green jersey. And also if she leaves the stage, she'll have the yellow jersey. And the way things are looking, she'll have it by a pretty good gap. But now she'll only be able to wear the yellow jersey tomorrow. She you know, make her wear three jerseys at once. So whoever went second over the climb will be wearing the polka dots. And whoever is the second in the points, which will most likely be either Izzy Diadin, who took the intermediate sprint, such as it was, or whoever comes in second on the stage right now, looking like this um, Kenyan tram rider, whose name I don't know. guy popping his head out as the uh, cameraman on the back of the moto is standing up to get the shot from the other direction. So just like he's on a motorcycle, here is another motorcycle with another cameraman who, unlike this guy, of course, is looking backwards. They are racing through 
uh, the streets of Clermont-Ferrand, where they started. So this particular stage was one big loop. And they found a climb to come back off of. So it was making for a very fast run in to the end of the stage. So I think I've just about got this done the way I want it. So I'll call it racing for seconds since there's no way anybody's catching the one person up the road. So I like to use this rider looking back as an element, it helps drive you. So it's sort of, here's the person closest to you, but they're looking back into the painting. So they're sort of joining you in that your viewing of the painting. So just a little compositional element that'll um, move you, the viewer's eye, through the painting. Just this whole directional thing. And it's interesting. I always enjoy switching to painting the women from painting the men. The kits tend to be, even the kits of teams that also, you know, that, that are both a man's, male and female teams, the kits are just a little more visually stunning, colorful, be the other way to say that. I did not mean to get this color already, but I did, so I'll go ahead and use it since it's on the brush. And since I use a little bit of red to make the flesh tones anyway, having an already red paintbrush isn't going to bother me. One thing I noticed as I painted the men's tour, their skin tones got darker and darker over the weeks. I pointed that once out once to a um, cycling promoter that I worked with when the World Championships came to Richmond. So if you, you know, if you notice that they're You get a darker and darker tan, which of course, you know, they're out in the sun five, six, seven hours a day. Of course they're gonna get a tan. There's not enough sunscreen in the world to prevent that. <laughs> and he was like, I've never noticed that. It's like, and that's one of the things about painting things, even like when I travel, we do watercolors. Of, you know, where you see, and you, and you take that extra time to observe just that much more, and you notice the particularities of a place you are that you wouldn't notice if you didn't paint it or draw it. You know, if you just kind of look, you don't do the deep dive into what you're looking at.
course, the other thing is that you got to find those little. You know, as I paint a race, I get more and more used to the particularities of jerseys. I remember last year, the Jumbo Visma was a multicolored jersey. I probably painted it three or four times before I got it figured out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And much the same issue with the Kenyan SRAM jersey kit altogether, their helmets. So just about through all the warm tones. Just look at my image again to make sure that was a true statement. Now we'll move on to the blues. I think all these riders will have the blues since they let. Because the first stage of the Tour de France was the one stage that anybody in the race could be the new yellow jersey. So letting somebody get away from you means that you let your shot at the jersey go up the road. And the FDJ team is one of the teams that has a more colorful kit for the women with this red shoulder that the men don't have. However, the um, while they have a different sponsor than Sudal, Quick step. This kit back here is pretty much identical to the Sadal Quick Step team. AG Insurance is their primary sponsor, so they have a different logo. They don't have the red stripe. And I, I'm assuming, I don't know yet, I'll find out for you, that Quick Step is a secondary sponsor. just as it is with the Sudal Quick Step team. So as you can see, I'm working pale to light. So like those are black shorts and there's other black in here that I'm not putting in yet. But 
and now we're ready to go to the black. And that'll get that last little pop in the detail that really helps you. <clears throat> Sorry, I seem to be losing my voice. Now I'm trying to pick up some of that pigment, so I'm just wiping it on the paper towel. So there's a little too much water. So I think other than the street below their wheels. That's the image. A little bit of the sidewalk on the other side of the street. Let's put a little bit more blue in that dark. And just a quick little wash to indicate the street. And I will remind you, of course, that all of this artwork will be shared where you can read about all of the race on my blog, The Art of Cycling blogspot.com. While you're there, you can find a link over to my website, gregleach.com. Both of these will be in the description below. And um, there you can purchase the work. I will be painting. So there's eight stages of the Tour de France Femme. I'll be posting one of these each day for that race. And of course, I have one more to paint of the men who just started racing a few minutes ago in their final stage into Paris. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch. And uh, I'll be back again tomorrow. There'll be a whole bunch of videos in the next couple days. Thank you all.